Hi guys, uh, it's Paul again on my YouTube art channel. Hope you're well. Um, today I'm going to show you quickly how to do uh, the head and neck of a flamingo. Um, so I'm going to use a range of pencil cranes. Uh, I've got normal pencil cranes here, um, quite a few pinks and oranges, a little bit of grey and black, and then I've got some water soluble and uh, watercolour um, pencil cranes. So we'll just uh, finish off by putting a little bit of watercolour through just to drip, have like a dripping effect. Um, so I'm not actually going to use, I'm going to try my best not to use a pencil on this. If I do, I'll just use a, a 2H or HB pencil just to do a few details on later, but I'm going to go straight in with the pink. Okay, so this is quite, quite loose this is. So I'm going to start off with um, the basic shape of the um, the flamingo so it's gonna come around here and it's gonna go down off off our page here so we're gonna draw it right to the bottom um, which is probably just gone off the page here which is absolutely fine uh, and then we're gonna bring it over over here um, and we're just gonna show you the kind of shape that you want um, to go down with the neck so let's bring the neck kind of this shape okay and then with the flamingo you want to get the the the, the head in but like kind of the chin before his beak and um, it goes down like this okay so you're gonna have his eye around about around about here Okay, um, we'll get that in later. And this is going to come around here, and the beak's going to come across. Hopefully, you can see that on here. And it's going to now and come back on itself and quite low. Okay, so we're going to bring some green, some yeah, a little bit of green later, a little bit of blue as well. Um, and finally do some black and all of this bottom half of his beak here is is black so we're gonna show you this kind of shape okay so that'll do for now so um, what I'd now do is, is block in some pinks so I'm gonna choose a darker pink here and go around this edge. You want to keep this nice and loose, okay? You don't really want too much detail at this stage. You're just trying to get quite a bit of colour in into this area here. I'm going to try and do this within 15, 20 minutes, okay? Because um, I've, I'm, I am aware some of these videos are a little bit long, and some people aren't watching them all the way through, um, which is fine. By the way, don't mind you doing that. Uh, if you've got the hang of it, you can crack on and have a go yourself. Um, but what we're going to do is just bring in some darks. Bring some real dark in, dark pinks, okay. And we're just going to bring in this um, a little bit more, want a little bit more. Um, dark down this side of the neck here. Okay, a little bit of uh, purple in a little while as well. Um, might actually do. Just go ahead and do do that now. Um, so I've got a like a light pur purple colour. Bring this in. Okay. So I'm not too worried about seeing the white underneath. That's going to be the kind of effect we're going to have here. We're going to go through. I want some lines like this, so it suggests um, feathers. Okay, and I've got just a range of pinks here, so I'm just messing with the colour. You can just kind of change your change your colour as you're going through. Okay, so a little bit lighter over here. Um, and we're just building up. Building up um, colours here. So 
Sometimes I go in two different directions. This kind of effect, okay. I'm aware of the time, so I'm just going to quickly show you what kind of effect we can have. Quick. Um, we'll do a little bit of blending later on. Okay. So, I quite like this bright, this bright pink. We'll go into a bit more purpley in a minute. It just brings a little bit of purple in here. Okay, and a little bit of purple underneath the chin here. Okay, into the beak. So it's just going to be a lot darker here under his chin. Okay, and then we're just going to flick this lighter shade through here. A little bit brighter. Okay, now, just going to bring a bit of black in just to bring in the eye so you can see what I'm talking about with this shape here. Flamingos have got a really, really um, starey eye. Okay, it almost looks unreal. Um, so we'll bring this in. Um, and what we want to do is I'm going to draw the shape of the eye in here. Okay, and then that will really bring the piece together get the eye in early can work around that the eye there there we are okay so that's basically what I'd like for the eye uh, what I'm now going to do is a little bit of yellowy brown on the inside of the eye a little bit more dark down here okay um, I'm just bring in a little bit of trusty black and grey just to give it a little bit of depth. There we are, that's good. Okay, now um, we want to leave this area white. I'm just going to put a little bit of grey through this now. Okay, and then the beak, I'm going to have a grey stripe down here. Okay, we're going to have some grey coming through here. Um, I'm going to go back to the pinks again for a little while, so I've got like a, a nice brightish pink coming through here, a little bit more on the outside edge here of the beak, and then black. I'm going to bring this, the black is going to be really close to the edge. I'm going to bring a bit of blue in later on, okay? So what you can do now is you can curve this right round, okay, where we've got a... This is the kind of effect you've got to get, is the shape of the beak is really important on a piece of art with a flamingo. So I have some sharp lines like this. And we shade in this dark beak now. The angle, there's more black at this end, end here. I'm using a reference photo for this, and you can find hundreds if you just type into Google or another search engine like Bing. Um, flamingo art or flamingo, I've just done flamingo photographs, um, and I've taken a few photos at zoos and things like that, flamingos, but. You can't really get close up enough to them at a, at a zoo. Unless you've got a brilliant uh, zoom lens on your camera. So I tend to use photos from different stock photos really off, uh, off Google. It is important to, if you can, get uh, permission from the photographer. Uh, my dad does that quite a lot with his art. He gets permission for the photo from the photographer first before... Um, just in case they want any royalties for using the photograph. Okay, so we're going to miss a few bits here because we're going to get some blue through there in a little while. Okay, so it's looking good so far. Um, a little bit more black through this bit here. Okay, and then you're going to go now 
classic look of a, um, a flamingo is, is this kind of effect on the beak. You want is a drop in a dark section here. Almost looks like he's laughing at you. Um, it's that kind of effect there. We'll have another, another one up here. I'm going to go a little bit of uh, light blue now. Okay, so um, that's it. I'm going to change. I'm going to change to this kind of aquamarine blue. Um, that's a better blue. And I'm going to put the grey through the back of this. And what you want is a blue tinge on the outside edge rather than pink. I'm going to use a pink earlier on just to show where we were going with this. Okay. Um, and then if you can get a little bit of water soluble um, blue if you can um, we'll just run that we'll run that pencil's broken um, we'll run that down the edge here um, onto the rest of the, the page I'm struggling with that blue it's uh, Pencil crane snapped, I think. So we're going to go like this. Now, if you've got if you've got a uh, a brush, a uh, wet brush, this is the kind of thing you can do. So you can bring this all the way down like that, so it looks like it's dripping. Okay, a little bit more maybe um, at the top end here. Like this, so you and then you just brush it through. Um, you get a nice line going down here, and then brush it in. There we go. That's good. I like that. Um, so it looks like a drip coming off the end of his beak. Okay. Um, what you can do is bring that green, that blue through. Sorry, here. Get some light. Move this through. I'm just gonna rush through this now. To show you, um, want a little bit of purple again through here, a little bit of purple through here. Okay, see if that brush through. Yeah, well, see, this isn't even water soluble paper, but it is. It's working really well there. So we've got. So I'm using a wet brush now, and it means you can work a lot quicker wet brush. Try and go the same direction as the um, go the same direction if you can. This is almost like a watercolour now. Okay, if you've got watercolour paper even better. There we are. Um, so back to the pinks. Um, you want a little bit more pink round here. Okay, a little bit more pink in this area here. Now if you've got a little wet paper, don't worry, you could let it dry for a while. I'm obviously doing this quite quick. Um, and then you, you need really some blues through here. So from the eye, you're going to bring a, some splashes of blue through like this. Okay. And this is obviously art, not, you're not doing it exactly like a photograph. So you don't need to worry too much about... Um, how accurate you are really, it's just about the colour, the blends of colour. So I'm going to go with this like orangey, uh, orangey yeah. pencil crayon now. Bring this through here, right to his eye. And then I'm going to change, I'm going to go a lot pinker now through here. And what you want to do is try and show there's feathers by going over the top of that. See that effect there? That's quite good. I like that. Um, so you, what you want to do is get your base colour like this. Okay. A bit darker through the back of the eye here like this. And then Blend this in if you can, pushing a little bit more on the on the pressure because you've got darker section here underneath his eye. Okay, so 
this is looking really quite good now. Not sure how long we've had on the clock on this one. Uh, 15 minutes already, so yeah, I said 15 or 20. I think it might be a little bit longer than this now. Um, but I'm, I'm building up that colour now. Okay, so I'm now going to get a little bit more of a, a, a pinky pink, a darker kind of shade of pink. We're going to go darker underneath here. Again, this is the base of your colour. You can highlight with flecks on top, flecks of colour on top. I'm going to just leave a lighter section here. I'm going to go down the beak there. Okay, I'm going to leave a lighter section here. That's going to be more peachy. Okay, I'm going to go across like this. Okay. Um, Got a little bit more pink going through his beak. Okay, a little bit darker pink maybe here. And up here, okay. Um, and then this peachy colour again. I'm gonna go in here, top end of this. And you really want to show that there's feathers up here, okay? So like I said earlier on, see if you can get those lines coming in. Show the direction of the feathers. Okay. I'll leave some white up there. Okay, so I'm gonna get my grey now. A little bit of grey under here. I'm just putting grey over the top now. Okay, so um, a little bit of yellow in here actually. A bit of yellow, that'd be good, nice, and a bit of brown. A light coloured brown, this is the water soluble uh, water coloured pencil cream is now coming in. Um, okay, so I'm going to go a bit more yellowy down here, bring some yellow in here, and then I'm going to get my brush again. Okay, and because that's water soluble, we can bring in a little bit of splash of colour in it. Just going to bring the yellow through like that, you see. So you can achieve quite a nice um, blend of yellow in the background. Okay, so um, what you could do here is I, I'd put some dots, some splashes of colour here like this, and then just bring in a little bit of water in the background. Okay, so back to the colouring, um, back to the purple. Okay, I would say you'd spend a good half an hour to an hour on this now, but I'm going to do it really quick. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this peachy colour right through this, right down here. Okay, leave a little bit of white, peach all the way up, then I'm going to change, I'm going to change to a darker pink, again I'm going to go up here, but you want to leave a bit of white if you can here and there, just adds a little bit of interest, okay, bit darker through here, and then you want some darker on the inside of the neck, in this corner here, okay, like this, and then we're going to go peach through here again where we were missing earlier on, okay, nice pressing on nice and hard now, okay, that's good, I'll leave any white space there, that's it looks better when you've got that shaded in here. Back to pinks, you want dark around his eyes, much dark around his eyes, and above his eyes here. This is the kind of effect you're going for. Okay. Much darker here. And then we've got we're gonna get that uh, blue around his eye. This is gonna go this way. 
bottom of his eye, splash of blue across the top of his eye. There we go. Um, now, what I'd probably do is I'd work some more pink through the middle section here. Like this, okay. If you wanted to, if you've got a pink fine liner, you can just put some you can put some real bright bits of pink through here. Suggest hair. Okay, so I'm just using a Stabilo 0.88 um, here, and you can really go to town with this really. So you can have you could bring some some lines, some pen lines over the top if you wanted to. Okay. Um, what I do now is just make sure that you've got this edge defined if you can. And you want a kind of a roughish edge like this, okay? You don't want to be feeling like you're tied down to it being perfect. Just show a few feathers, some fur up. Not fur, sorry, feathers across here. I'm talking about fur. Go through this and back of this here. I'm actually going to put a little bit of red through this in a minute, I think. Um, so you want a little bit of uh, like a lilac-y pink now. Okay, so this is a more of a lilac colour. And that's the kind of effect you want to go for here now. I'm wondering if I get the wet brush again and brush through here, whether it's just going to lighten things up or make it look a little bit more like a watercolour. This isn't watercolour paper, this is uh, just a sketch pad, so you've got to be careful it doesn't crinkle too much, but a little bit of water here and there would be okay, I think. Now that's worked. I've never really tried that before, water on this kind of paper. I normally use a, an acrylic uh, paint pad or paint paper or watercolour paper, but um, just got to go easy on that actually because it does crinkle. Okay, so um, light. Now you want to try and get a, a light pink if you can now. It's just a really light pink. Okay, so this is okay. I'm going to go through this area here, light pink. Okay, like this. You see a little bit of white behind it. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do this quite quick now, but you'd probably spend a lot more time on the detail on the, on the feathers. Okay, than I'm spending. And don't forget, this is a piece of art. It's not supposed to be photorealistic. There is some brilliant photorealism artists out there. This isn't one. It's just this is like what we call impressionism. You just you just put in an impression of the bird onto the canvas or the paper. You're not really wanting it to be unbelievably accurate, okay? And sometimes you want nice thick lines like this of colour over the top because it actually makes it look like a watercolour then as opposed to um, pencil crane or ink on paper okay and then I'm going to go back to kind of a, a lightish purple uh, through here okay just be careful you don't spoil your uh, your work by putting your hand across the work otherwise you're smudging everywhere Okay, uh, and then I'm going to darken this off now. Okay, I don't really want to see any white under here, through the through from the page. So, I'm darkening this up now. Okay, um, and I'm going to get my grey. I'm going to go over the top of the the beak here with a little bit of grey, 
Okay, and we're going to go grey under here so it darkens everything up above his eye. Okay, really quite dark over here, he's almost got um, eyebrow, uh, like a eyelashes through here. And then underneath here, again, grey under there. This kind of detail is really important. Bring the bird to life then. And then we've got grey through his beak. Lots more grey here. You want to blend that in with the black. A little bit of grey in here. Try and avoid um, any white in the beak area here, the bottom of the beak. Okay, and then we'll, we'll darken that blue. It's a little bit too sky blue, that is for me. Okay. And a little bit more grey here. Some more grey in this area here. Okay, and a little bit more grey around the top of his head. Okay, so that's much better coloration, I think. That. So this is coming on nicely now. Um, you could go to town on the watercolour and bring lots of colour down here. Okay, and I'll just kind of show you if I've got watercolour. Um, pencils here, what you can actually achieve like that. Let's see if I've got a, a, something like a purple and a, a brown, okay, a little bit of yellow. Uh, this is now water soluble, um, water soluble, um, let's just move the art a little bit so you can see it, water soluble uh, paint, oh, sorry, not paint, I don't mean paint at all. Um, Water soluble um, pencil crayons. Sorry, it's late. And um, this is going out on uh, Saturday morning, but I'm actually doing this quite late on Friday night. Don't worry, I haven't been drinking. I just can't get my words out correctly. Um, so this is the kind of thing that we're kind of achieving now. Okay. Um, do a little bit of a yellow one. And again, just get the pencil in first and then you can work that, work that water in. There we go. And I want a little bit of a pinkish drip down here. So I'm going to start with this kind of a effect. Okay. There we go. And then bring the water in. Okay, a little bit of water, dab this down, so it looks like it drips, okay, that's good, another one down here if we can, another streak here, might quite be able to see that on the, on the camera but it really is good some lines down here now. This is the same the same colour as that drip and we'll bring that pink through. Okay. So a little bit more work water. A little bit more work on here now. And then we'll bring some of this pink across. Okay, so darker in this area, darker in this area, much darker here, top of his eye, bringing this pink through this orangey colour now, there we go, prefer that I think, a little bit of this purple is going to go disappearing behind the pink now. just fades all of that purpley into the background. Water through there. Okay. Now what I'll probably do now is I'd go back to my uh, pen over the top. OK, 
Okay, so you're just flicking this pink through. Okay, this is a little bit too bright, really. Um, but it, it gives you a real um, clear indication that this is feathers going on here. Bring a few little lines like this around. So I'm going over with this fine liner now. Again, don't forget this is art, okay, so you can just have a real good um, play around with the colour here. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit red now. You might think it's a bit weird going on red, but it'll give you a much darker section under this. Under this, so I'm using just a, a darkish red here, and I'm bringing out... kind of colour okay you've got to be careful here because this this paper is still wet and you actually rip through the paper if you're not careful I'm not leaving it long enough to dry before you start colouring over the top so you might walk away make yourself a cup of tea and come back to this okay and I'd probably leave the water till right at the end so you don't have to do any more here with this reddish, not bright red, it's like a maroony, maroony colour this. Okay, some darker sections here, just to show the definition of where he's, uh, I might actually drag one there like this. Okay, we've got some blue down there, okay, so and then what I'd be doing is I'd put some dots to suggest drips. Okay. This kind of thing. It makes it almost look like a watercolour then. And you could go to, you could carry on with that for a long, long time. Um that's my very quick flamingo sketch. Um you can spend hours on this if you wanted to. Uh, that's gonna go out on Saturday. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Have a go yourself. Send me your flamingo art and um, I'll speak to you soon. All right. Bye now.